Hello and welcome to Friday Sports Extra Week 5 edition. Big non-rivalry action coming your way as district play begins. Los Fresnos at San Benito, Mercedes at Donna. But first, how about a rivalry? Six years ago, the battle for Westlaco got underway with bragging rights and having your colors fly on the water tower being at stake. CBS4 sports reporter Patrick Shelvier live at Bobby Lackey Stadium in Westlaco for the Wildcats and the Panthers tonight. Patrick. Yeah, Clay, on paper, it was a rivalry game, but in the game itself was not that as much. It just seemed like the energy was more one-sided than it was kind of equally balanced. So we'll take it to the highlights and show you what we got at Bobby Lackey Stadium. We go the Wildcats and the Panther for Tentacle Bowl 6, and Westlake East would get the interception early on. So quarterback Richard Lefevre in shotgun position. He's going to run to his white. Tosses the lob to Freddie Cardenas for the 10 yard score. Wide open as he walks into the end zone. Wildcats get the score first, 7 to nothing. And then Lefever again, he's going to hand off to Roy Pedraza. He's going to be met at the line, but somehow, some way, he finds a crack in the line and makes his way into the score. 14 0 Wildcats. And then the Wildcats defense stepping up. Panthers quarterback Marco Leal is going to run away and somehow just throw the lob. That's going to get intercepted. Panthers with great field position in the first quarter. Panthers again looking for something on offense. Jacob Cavazos is going to find Richard Olzak with a tip drill catch. He somehow comes down with it, and that'll get the Panthers going just a bit. But later in the drive, fourth quarter, he would not be able to convert. The Panthers shut down in this one. Wildcats would lead 21 and nothing at the half. They take this one 35 to 7. The Panthers avoid the shutout, but just all Wildcats all the time tonight. Uh, just one game. We want to know. If we're one zero in district. It, it counts as one win. For them, it counts as one loss. Next week, they need to bounce back against Santa, play a great game, and get them a W. And we got San Benito coming in here, and San Benito is a really good ball club. Well, Coach Berger is saying earlier today and even now that it technically was a rivalry game, but he just saw it as another game that they needed to have. And, you know, something else he mentioned, it was, it was a lot of respect he has for this Panthers squad saying that Wessico has players. They have guys who can play, who can ball. So a lot of respect from the coaches here, but the uh, Wildcats rather would take this one 35 to 7. That's all we have here at Bobby Lackey Stadium. So, with Clay, I'm going to send it back to you. But for now, live in Westlaco, Patrick Shalvier, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com. All right, thanks a lot, Patrick.